And tonight, reporter Jacinta Render spoke to some law students at Lincoln Memorial University who shared their thoughts about this historic moment. Jacinta. Beth, all of the people I talked to tonight share differences in opinions, but one thing they all say is that Judge Jackson's confirmation is a sign of progression in America. The United States Supreme Court was established over 200 years ago, and this is the first time a black woman will sit in those chambers. Law students in East Tennessee are excited about Katanji Brown Jackson's confirmation. I wouldn't change one moment of it. While others have concerns. Personally, I, I, we definitely differ on our kind of political opinions, uh, myself and Supreme Court Justice. I had mixed feelings. Honestly, I was excited. I feel like she's always going to go through that scrutiny that's going to come. President Joe Biden kept his promise and nominated Judge Jackson back in February. In March, she had her confirmation hearings where several Republicans accused her of being soft on crimes. Some chose not to watch. I wanted to avoid the hearings because I just felt like it was going to be something traumatic. Judge Jackson is also the first and only Supreme Court justice to serve as a public defender and her career history shows more experience than current justices combined. I think that's extremely important. Um, not all attorneys go out into the world and become corporate attorneys, make the big bucks. Judge Jackson won the confirmation with 53 yeses and 47 noes. Three Republicans joined in with the Democrats making history. Judge Jackson will be just the third black justice after Thurgood Marshall and Clarence Thomas, and she is the sixth woman. Beth. All right, Jacinta, thank you.